Yesterday saw 195 local boys and girls compete against some of the brightest maths brains in the world in the 17th Pharma Global Apaches and Mental Arithmetic Championships, which was held in Sentin in Johannesburg. Now, the championship, uh, championship is an example of what can be achieved with early intervention in Abacus maths and mental arithmetic education. But to talk to us more about this, we join now by Marlon Martin, who is the president of Pharma South Africa. Good morning to you. Thank you so much for coming. Good morning. Through. Thank you for inviting yes, me. Good to have you here, more so on this important event. For the very first time that South Africa is hosting this uh, competition. We were so excited. It's been three years that we've been preparing for this. We went to this event for the first time in 2008. Okay. And in 2010, I was appointed president of Pharma South wow. Africa. And we bid to host in 2014 and we won the, the bid. Mm -hmm. And uh, we worked tirelessly and uh, it was the, the best event since 2008. And wow. everybody Is uh, acknowledged that yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we worked very hard. There were almost 300 students from across the world uh, in participation. So from 17 countries? Yeah. Yes, from 17 countries. Yeah, but in terms of preparations, it might, must have been difficult. Yes, it, well, it took us, it st we started last year as the competition was in South Korea. I took, took a lot of staff. We had uh, 32 students there. We had 70 parents and a lot of staff mm. to go and, 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 and um, shadow them, actually, and, and make notes. So it took us... Really, a whole year since 28 December last year until now to be ready. Oh. And you can see my eyes are I can very see red. I beg, Shim. But then, uh, you know, we started with this excitement. We didn't really get to tell our viewers about the competition itself as to what it is and what it entails. Oh, it's amazing. Uh, A Plus Students is a company that teaches children abacus and mental arithmetic from the age of two and a half. So their, their brains are like little sponges. You mm. can do anything with yeah. them. But we play on the carpet, so it's very important. Okay. So the earlier we can start with them, the better the results is. Oh. So we've seen with our... Top performer, uh, Stian Skiepert, who was the first child in South Africa in South Africa who ever won the Champion of Champion Awards okay. this year. He won champion before, but champion of champion is the number one person. All right, talk to us about group. the categories because you were telling me earlier on this so much. Talk to us about There it. is five categories. The first category is children between the age of five and seven years old. They must be able to do a three-digit multiply by a one-digit, 30 sums in three minutes. Yeah. Okay, uh, three five, between the ages of five, five and, seven. and seven, yes. Okay. And a three digit div uh, divided by one digit and so on and so on. And okay. in mental arithmetic, it's just one digit less and they get one minute for 30 sums. Because without using the abacus, abacus. you put it away, they visualize it, they are three times faster. God. So it's incredible to see them. Very. If you can see the video footage, it's absolutely incredible. Mm. So that is our first group. Then group B is one digit more. Okay. Group C is one digit more. Group D is one digit more. Mm. And so it increased with addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Every time it's just one digit more, so it just becomes more difficult. Mm -hmm. So the winners. Mm. Talk to us about the winners. You are telling me off air that we have a winner from South Africa I'm as well. I'm so excited. We've got many women, winners. We've got many champion trophies. We've got plenty first winners. Uh, and our top performer is Tian Skepers, our first champion of champion oh. ever. We had champions before, but never, never a champion, champion of champions. Of champions. Yes. And then there were so many people that was close. In our B group, we had champions, Duan Beekes, Jordan Moodley, Ziva Wolf, Mikulin Reddy, and Nora Ahmad was our champions, which is phenomenal. They mm. are right in the 90s, 90%. And uh, Mukunu Maragheni and Ompile Moka, mm -hmm. they missed the champion trophy by about a 0.5%. Oh, eh? So they were first winners, which mm. is a wonderful mm. uh, achievement. Then in our uh, A category, we have Annabelle Kirstein. She was actually supposed to be a champion. Um, we voted out a rule last night in Palma. I was so happy for. Okay. Uh, when new countries enter, they tell the countries they can bring children that's two years older Oh. And compete against these five, six, seven yeah, years old, yeah. just to give them the chance. Okay. So there were nine-year-old students that won that category and got a hundred percent. So last night we voted that out. So if if it was not for if it was next year, Annabelle Kestein would Could have, have been it. the champion, yeah. and I want yeah. to acknowledge her mm. for that. Mm. In our group C, Louis Kiepers missed the champion of champion trophy with oh. 0.5%. God. So he's a champion, Almost. Leroux Heineke mm. on his heels, Nessia Chetty, 
and Sasha Moodley. So proud of them. Oh, yeah. In a very difficult group D, Ethan Kirstein, they call him, we call him to the stage with uh, two other, other countries, and he missed the, the Champion of Champion trophy with 1%. Um, he got 93%, oh. Ethan Kirstein, and then Eben Pinar. And then we've got a lot of first winners. Yeah, I didn't bring yeah, the results yeah, of the yeah. first winners, but it's phenomenal. It, it, it sounds incredible and, and, it's and interesting as well. Mm -hmm. Now, for parents who are watching and would want their children to participate, how do they go about? How are these uh, children? How uh, does it work? So we have uh, 630 centers across South Africa. They need to go on our web website, aplusstudents.co.za. Mm -hmm. They just go onto a map, they click, they find the uh, closest teachers. We teach from centres, we teach from shopping malls, we, uh, where we have centres. We teach from schools, as extramurals. There's many uh, places that we teach. Mm -hmm. um, I just want to ask parents, please, the younger, the earlier. We saw it with Sian and all the little ones coming through. If they start between the age of two and a half, three... And you three, wouldn't think that they would do it at the age of two. I'm but, thinking but a child come, at two. Please come and visit our class. They <laughs> literally sit on the carpet. And we have got the Sorobin, this abacus that we make ourselves, we manufacture it in our warehouse. Okay. It's got huge beads. So we will say, sit on the carpet. We have the number one, two and three in front of them. And then we have things they can count. Mm. So we will first play with them with everything that they can count and then we say mommy gives you one sweetie and you've, then you've got this little thumb going up moving this huge <laughs> beat and daddy comes home and he gives you another oh, sweetie. sweetie and they put it up how many sweeties, sweeties do you, you have, have? Oh. one two now show me the two so then the one two and three wooden numbers is next to one another they count one two they lift it out this is my two so the two becomes concrete oh. tactile and not an abstract thing anymore. Oh and then we will count, count two sweets for me there, count two counters yeah. for me there. So it's, it's fun, yeah. it's on the carpet, it is a game that we play, and this game is incredible, mm -hmm. how it develops mm -hmm. the, the left and All right, right is, is it what, what, what's called the A-plus method? Is that the A-plus yes, method? Yes, yes, All right, so your services, are they for free? No. They're not for free, yeah. but they are really affordable to every household. Mm -hmm. um, and we also have programs where we give back. Uh, give you an example. Uh, Tudenti and Kuketsu was at the competition yesterday. They both had second winners or first winners. They did very well. We've taken them to USA in yeah. 2015. They are absolutely some of our top performers. They live in the Zandbreit informal settlement and that is our give back. Yeah. So we have a group of students mm -hmm. there. So if they can't afford it, we will help them to be able to do it. To do but it. we need the commitment from the parents. You're mm -hmm. there every week. You bring your children every week. If we see the commitment, we will... It works better. The, yes, so absolutely. you have 630 centers. Is yes. it just here in Gauteng or across South Africa? Across South Africa, okay. 630 centers. All right. So, but the hmm. fact that uh, Champion of Champions, Champion of Champions hmm. comes from South Africa this year, wh wh what's that saying? Because we, they're computing against the brightest yes. minds, the likes of India and South Korea, for example. Yeah. So yeah. what's that saying about our capabilities here at all? This, we are on par with the, the whole of the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. It took us time to get used to the system. We started with bronze and silver, third winners, and we worked our way. And the last three were, uh, years we had champions, and now we have a champion of champions, yeah. and very, very close champion of champions. Uh, we are exactly the same and have the same capabilities as any other country. It's just a matter of unleashing it and nurturing and, that talent. And doing it the right way the and right teaching way. it the right way. All right, Malin, we'll leave it at that. You and I must still talk for my son. Thank you so much for coming through. Pleasure. All right. Thank you to Malin Morton, the chairperson of Palmer SA, uh, talking to us about that competition. It's good news that South Africa came first. Well, we're taking a break here on Morning Live. There's still so much more to come. In fact,